What is up YouTube and back another again with another video. In today's video, man, we're going over everything that they added in the new update um, for the season two reloaded, um, which is now live. Um, but before we get into that, I just wanted to let everyone know that um, the next couple of days uploads may um, slow down or pause. Um, as I do, I, I've been telling you guys over the last week or so that I've had some personal stuff going on, uh, and I feel like it's time to share. Um, so my dog has been doing pretty bad, um, health wise. And so he's going to, he has a doctor's appointment today to go see, uh, if he is like, what's wrong with him or whatever. Um, and there's a pretty high chance that he might have to be put down. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just going to be a rough week if that's the case. So if uploads slow down or they're not the best quality, I do apologize in advance. Just be aware of that reason but without further ado man let's get into everything that you guys need to know for the new update so first off obviously the big two things the two new weapons i've already used them quite a bit um here is the new soa um subverter which is basically it's a battle rifle in this game but what it's supposed to be is the xr160 from call of duty ghost and uh advanced warfare uh and infinite warfare but the Advanced Warfare version, and I believe the... Actually, I think all three versions were full automatic uh, ARs. But this is a fully automatic um, battle rifle. So it's a little different. It's a, it does definitely hit a lot harder. But it's obviously very different compared to like the originals. But that's that. We also have the Soul Render melee weapon. It's basically like this... Um, Norse mythology, like, god fucking sword is what I think about it. When I see it, it's what I think about it. I think of, like, the swords that, like, you would see in a, a Norse movie or something with, like, Thor and Odin and all that. But uh, I think it's also supposed to be a sword themed from... Because it says it's a ceremonial blade, so I'm assuming it's supposed to be themed from the whole Dune movie. Because this is one of the guns that has a, a version for it for the Dune um, bundles. So it could just be a Dune theme thing. Other than that, uh, there's a new event live currently for 293,000 XP. You get this camo. It's pretty dope looking. Um, obviously, it doesn't look the best in this menu since you can't see it yet. Um, we also have a double XP weekend coming up in about a day. So not, I think it's tomorrow afternoon it'll go live. The new melee weapon has a new area here in the battle pass. These are the challenges. You also get some critical stuff. You get this... Um, uh, aftermarket part for i believe the i believe it's supposed to be the g36 you have this emblem um then you get this double xp token and then you also get this new free camo here as well um and then you also get the uh soul render at the end obviously and then that's that let's see what else um new bundles in the store but these no one I don't think really cares about. It's the Dune Part 2 skin for Harakon. Um, and then obviously Paul Atreus is back. I really wanted to get this skin. But at the same time, I just don't know if I want to give this game a $20 for uh, a crossover skin. I'm, I'm really torn if I want to do this, this bundle or not. Um, those are the two new bundles. Uh, so there's also some other small life changes that they've done that are really nice. So you can now... Uh, go to your challenges and say you want to do weekly. You can now track weeklies and see them in game, which is. <sighs> it, 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 I don't understand why this hasn't been a thing for forever, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, same with uh, camos. It doesn't work for camos, but I really would like them to do for camos if they could do the same thing. Just like select one or two camos that you want to keep track of in game, or even the Ultra Mastery, keep track of Ultra Masteries in game so you can kind of see where you're at with them. That would be super dope. But here's also the weekly challenges for the new gun as well as it is a weekly reward. Um, and that would be week five. So we have three more weeks in the season left, which is pretty sad to think about it. You can also do the whole track thing with events as well. So if you wanted to say, um, let's say you want to track this event, you can just hit boom. Now it's tracking and you can see the challenge in game. So you can keep track of it, which is super dope. Uh, other than that, there is nothing really else for multiplayer. Obviously, the new map, DOS House. Um, so I, I really, th I originally thought they, they when they announced DOS House was coming back, I thought they said the World War II version of DOS House, which is um, 
amazing in every single way. Uh, but it is not World War II's DOS House. It is Vanguard's version of DOS House, which is kind of weird because there's two maps with the same name, but they're different, completely different, actually. Um, but it's the Vanguard version. So it's still pretty cool. I played it. It actually plays really, really well for challenges. Like I, I flew through to the uh, event challenges the, for the for the sword pretty quick on that mo- on that map um so that's a good place to grind that we also got bounty which is basically like an hvt mode um i believe they add a dome from nw2 from last year uh as well into the rotation um but i don't know if that's in yet that might be added later today or something i know it's um supposed to be coming also, shipment is now no longer shipment. We have we got the Christmas ship moss version of the map. So now there is no longer a standard shipment in the game, as far as I as far as I know. They said that they completely removed it. So it might I don't know if it's still in cost games or not, but standard for multiplayer now will be ship uh, shipmas, which is the Christmas version. So if you're if you like the Christmas version of shipment, WU I guess. Um, let's see what else. Uh, also in zombies added a couple small things that I'm sure people make videos on. I don't know how to really explain them. They're just kind of like small items you can find in the game. But obviously we also have the new story, um, as well. You can see right here, if we click on it, you can go to the new Aether Anomaly and escape from it. You get this little charm. Um, also they added a, uh, streak thing a little wind streak like a exhil streak thing that you can do um uh you have to get one hot level 100 for the decam uh the containment level to really see these rewards all of them uh or you can get them as you go obviously um i have since died <laughs> well i didn't die i had to go do something so i just dipped out of the lobby i just dipped um so that's why i have nothing on my character but if we go to schematics um you can see here uh, that they added the VR11 case now in the schematic section, as well as they added two new things, the mag of holding, which I believe is just, um, if you have this activated, it won't, you won't need to reload for that game, very much. Any gun you use will be from stock, so you won't need to reload, uh, which is really nice for if you're doing challenges that require, like, kills without reloading. Pop this thing on, do all those guns in one game, you'll be set. Um, then they asked this thing, the blood burner keys, I have no idea what this does. I have seen no one talking about it, so I'm very interested to see what this does in the future. And if you know what this does, let me down down below. I'm very curious to see what this does. Um, the stash is still sadly 10, unfortunately. Um, it does suck, but it's still 10. I think they said they have no, I, uh, no, like, plans to increase it anytime soon, so it's kind of sad. Um... Other than that, that's pretty much everything in this new update. There really wasn't that much. Uh, they did some small life changes, like um, they nerfed uh, Throwing Knife and Warzone. Uh, they did a bunch of weapon nerfs and buffs. Um, but for the most part, it was pretty bland. Um, the, a couple things are broken, like the, um, the NAT type, the latency thing at the top of the screen. That's completely broken at the current moment. Um, but other than that, man, that's pretty much all in Season Reloaded. I know it's not a long video, not a lot of stuff in this video, but that's because this game just didn't have a whole lot of content to begin with at the current moment. So, with that being said, though, I'm going to end it here, man. I love you all. You're of a kind, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.